द रिकमेंडेड वे ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटिंग अ कस्टम ऑथेंटिकेशन स्कीम इज बाय डिराइविंग ए क्लास फ्रॉम ऑथेंटिकेशन हैंडलर एंड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द हैंडल ऑथेंटिकेट ए सिंक फंक्शन दिस मेक्स द कोड सिस्टमेटिक बिकॉज द ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड हैडर पार्सिंग कोड नाउ मूव्स टू अ डेडिकेटेड क्लास This approach also allows us to include a multiple authentication schemes in the same project. For example, you might want might want one web API to be authorized through basic authentication and another one through a JWT based authentication and yet you might want your Razor pages through a cookie based authentication. In this tutorial, we shall implement the basic authentication scheme that we have done in the previous tutorial. Now I will come to the code straight away because this is a mere rewrite of the basic authentication scheme that we discussed in the previous tutorial. You might want to go through the previous tutorial for a recap. So if you are new to this you can go through the previous tutorial to better understand this one. The source code for the project can be obtained from the downloads attached to this video. Now open the solution explorer and locate the file basicauthhandler.cs. double click to open this file at the start we have the various namespace directives you can always have a look at them if you get compilation errors when you write your own code the class basic auth handler it has been derived from authentication handler this class authentication handler contains most of the boilerplate code and so the only thing that needs to be done now is override the handle authenticate async function as you are seeing here the if condition parses the authorization header and checks if the scheme is basic authentication the header is then base64 decoded and the user id and password are segregated from the colon separated string after that a database or identity based check of the credentials can be made and an authentication ticket be created and a success result is then sent If some failure occurs then a www authenticate header is added to the response stream and a failure result is sent. We have discussed www authenticate header in the previous tutorial so you can have a look at that in case you find it a bit new here. This is all we need to do and now we can examine the program.cs file. Open the solution explorer and locate the program.cs file double click and open it. Let's see the code line by line. The first few lines are the usual boilerplate code. After that, we register the authentication services. Then we have the add scheme method which connects the basic auth handler class that we added just now. And next we register the authorization services and then the authentication and authorization middleware are added to the request pipeline. And finally, our get web API is now decorated with the authorize attribute this handler for this api will execute only if authentication succeeds and now you can appreciate how neat is the web api now add a breakpoint in the web api handler this will help us determine the flow of the program now let's run the project and make a request to the slash token endpoint the browser presents a credentials box type wrong 